So the disease, occlusive disease at the aortoiliac uh, bifurcation region is quite difficult to treat. Uh, the traditional method of treatment uh, with endovascular means has been to reconstruct the bifurcation using different um, covered stents. That's been the previous best option. Uh, the AFX unibody device provides a novel way of treating that same disease using a single component which uh, provides both a covered stent as well as preserving the aortic bifurcation. So all of the patients that came through our hospital, our campus, uh, were included in the, in the study that was presented today. We also have other centres that have included their, their patients. And these are patients with aortoiliac uh, occlusive disease that was concentrated at the bifurcation. Our findings were that the device itself is a, a safe device to use in this particular clinical indication. The primary indication for this device is for aneurysmal disease and the disease that we're treating is actually outside the, the IFU for this particular device. A number of other centres have reported using this device for occlusive disease and uh, after noting that it probably would be useful in this um, disease configuration uh, I decided to start using it and then once we found that it was usable uh, decided to set up a prospective registry uh, to look at the results uh, in this particular clinical indication. So it's a safe device to use uh, in occlusive disease of the aortic bifurcation and disease that extends into the iliac arteries. We can use it for arteries that are occluded, those that have aneurysmal disease as well. Uh, it seems to provide enough radial strength uh, to um, give good short-term results. We're still following up these results through the medium term, uh, but certainly the primary patency that uh, was achieved in our study uh, is very encouraging. I think that this uh, unibody device is something that people should consider uh, when they see this type of disease. Uh, it's a very uh, suitable alternative to the traditional CRAB uh, type uh, procedure. Because it preserves a bifurcation, in those patients that you also have significant infrainguinal occlusive disease and you think that you're likely to um, have more interventions that will require a contralateral access approach, then I think this is the uh, preferred treatment option.